This is a quick video on how to put together the 3D lighthouse. Um, it's got some sides and the back parts open so if you want to fill it with lights or fill it with stuff you can. I'll just quickly show you it going together. So, get my glue. So, you will notice out of all the side panels, two haven't got holes in this section here, two have got holes. The two that have got holes are going to go in your outside slots. So they're the ones next to the gap. And the other ones are going to go in the middle. They'll be the front of the lighthouse as such. Now these slots are for this, this platform to go in between to help stabilise it. I originally was going to have slots here as well to help stabilise it, but as much as you can feel and cover the slots, it's nice to have a nice clean front to decorate. Um, so I just went with, the, with doing them in the sides, as you'll see uh, now as we put it together. So uh, this will go together pretty much without glue. The main bit you'll need the glue on is the roof, but obviously to extra stabilise it, I would certainly recommend using a good PVA glue. I use Cosmic Shimmer. But watch this space because I may have a glue myself coming out and um, if it all goes ahead I absolutely love it. I can't use it at the moment because it's not in a pot that's usable with this sort of stuff. It wouldn't sort of go on um, with a fine applicator but I'm just adding glue to all these edges, bottom edges. Then this centre piece will go in like that, so it goes in the side bits and then these bits rest against here. It'll also be held in at the top, but I am going to put some glue on this edge and this edge anyway, and then obviously some glue where it's going to slot in. Again, you don't need this, but just for that extra security, so pop that one in. In. and then these two will lean against the glued edges because you're about to put the top piece on so most of the bits will be out if they're not just pop them out so again the bit that hasn't got these big gaps will be the bit that matches with this which is the back end and so all your slide sides will slot into these bits so uh, before I start as you can see there's like corner bits and long bits so one part of the side here you can see about me turning it on the side. So one part of the side here will go into a corner bit, the same as that will go in a corner bit, and these bits will go in the long bit on the side. So let's just make sure I've got that facing the right way. Again, making sure this clear bit that hasn't got the long strips is level with them. And now we will start to it fits um it fits nice and tightly so this is why you wouldn't necessarily need glue but like I said to reinforce it you can use glue so I'm just lining these all up and then pushing it down so you can see if I move it closer you can see that they go you get one side of it goes into the corner then you get the centre bits and then the other side of it in that corner and then this sides in that corner and then along there and in that corner and then the next piece starts in that corner goes along and so on. So I don't know if you can see that. Maybe if I show it. Oh, <laughs> you perhaps have turned it out the right. You see, it all sort of slots up and in. Okay. 
And then for the top bit, I'll take this little piece here. This has no uh, right or wrong side. Now I found it easier to get something to sort of stand it on so that it, it doesn't matter if it covers these inside holes but that it leaves these outer edge holes uh, free so you can sort of see through it. I found it easier doing that but you can obviously hold it if you find that easier. And then I pushed. So I'm taking these window sections for the top and I'm pushing the longest bits, not this short side but the longest bits through this top bit. Now, if you have to push it in, because they are made to fit nicely, and some might need a little bit more push than others, if you have to push it in, do not, I say do not, but don't, um, don't push from here, don't push from here and push down, because where these windows are, obviously it's a lot thinner, and it, as you push down here, all that will happen is, is you will snap this bit or you, you've got the potential to snap this bit where the windows are. So if you're having to push it in, hold where the windows are and then push down. So you're holding where the windows are and pushing down rather than pushing up here because then that puts all that pressure through the windows and potentially could snap it. Because obviously there's a lot of area cut away um, to make the windows a lot bigger for that top bit. Uh, because obviously they'd need to be nice and big um, they'd need to be nice and big because the lighthouse has nice big windows at the top the lighthouse has nice big windows at the top uh, to let obviously it's light out so there's one or two holes that are a bit tighter than others I will try and rectify that before it goes out to design but sometimes you just can't help it because MDF can sort of fluctuate so then on the top left with all these little bits sticking out and you're now left with your top piece so this top piece now needs to be slotted in uh, to here again use a bit of glue where you want to use glue I mean you don't necessarily have to use glue here uh, especially not if you're going to try and get a light in there if you're going to try and get a light in you can put your light in now um, it's got the hole there you can put the light in there fix your bits underneath and then fix your top actually I might not stick this on yet in case I try and do that but um, silly me I want to sort of show how it goes together but I don't necessarily want it to glue at this point what can I find to wipe the glue off a bit of cork it will still fit nicely I just want to get the glue off because I might um, before I take it as my sample to her chanda with me I might want to pop a light in there without having to do a whole nother uh, lighthouse so you're going to just start lining them up now this is a little bit tricky in the sense that um, you can't sort of start pushing them all in until they're all pretty much lined up because one being out of place will stop the next one going in but once you think you've pretty much got them all lined up and good to go in, just sort of give them a wiggle and push them down into place. That's it. So now you can see that sort of all butts up. That's all met up there. And that's all pushed in. So, and again, you just have to line all the holes up you can sort of put your fingers in the windows a little bit and sort of pull on the base bit to sort of level it, pull gently to sort of level it so that it all goes in the holes. And again, you're still left with that hole in the centre if you've mounted a bulb in there or something. Then um, around the top bit, I'm going to take these little pieces and we are just going to pop these in. So you're going to pop them in so that the flats are like that. I'm going to pop these in all the way around the top. Like that. Okay. So that's for your roof supports. Now your roof supports, they don't actually slot on, they slot over. So they kind of like slot 
over these bits here over these bits that are sticking out and they kind of like hang so they just go like that they just sort of like hang on there and um rest on that so they kind of hang over this but to stop them slipping all the way in and laying flat this stops them doing that so possibly a little bit of paint on the back there and on the edges there glue isn't going to get it on the back edge of that I think or on the sides and then we'll glue that in place and again I think a little bit on the sides there on the top there perhaps a little bit on the sides that might be worth doing And then we'll just go around popping these on. Like I say, you're almost just sort of hanging it over that bit and then resting it on that bit to stop it falling in on itself. And again, obviously you can glue these centre pieces in. I'm just doing this. Like you can glue these pieces. Oh. Glue them pieces in that when you've got glue on your fingers will stick to your fingers. <laughs> obviously glue these pieces in but I'm just doing this all for um, just for speed so again pop it on again pop it on and pop it on Oops, yeah. and then you would leave that all to glue stuck on it from my fingers so you can leave that all to dry now you could um, you could put that on with a 3d gel or a silicon gel or your hot glue gun that will sort of be better suited for there but you can also do it with PVA you just need to leave it to set make sure you're happy with how the roof looks and then round these edges so on these little railings that little tiny bit is the top and then you've got these feet at the bottom and where you push this where you push the sides into this top bit in the center bit here of each of the bits there are gaps and then gaps allow if I glue it on oh I won't glue it on yet but them gaps allow you to slot the little railings in around the top. Again, add some glue to the bottom so that you can get them to slot in. And then there is bits might fall off because I haven't glued it all but there is your lighthouse your door down the bottom windows at the side and it is left open in the back for you to add bits in use it as secret storage whatever you may choose to do and that's the lighthouse built